Flinders, we're making a difference to the world we live in. Our exceptional research in marine sciences is helping us better understand the marine and coastal environment, including animals and processes underpinning ecosystem productivity. And here are some of our researchers and projects we're currently working on. As climate change takes place in the next 50 to 100 years, rainfall decreases, wave energy increases, sea level rises. Coastal dunes are critically important for protecting us from coastal storms and particularly from sea level rise. My research is primarily about looking at the impacts of climate and future climate change on coastal dunes and dune field evolution. This video shows a digital elevation model made using a UAV or drone to fly past Post Office Rock, one of the fastest eroding dunes in South Australia. My research seeks to understand how and why marine top predators such as dolphins behave the way they do, how human activities impact their populations, and how we can use this information to better inform their conservation and management. Today, the future of many marine predators and the key services they provide are compromised by unprecedented declines driven by ever-increasing human pressures. My research provides scientific information and advice on whale and dolphin ecology and behavior that will better inform their management and conservation. My research focuses on shark ecology and how humans and sharks interact. This includes studies ensuring the long-term sustainability of shark fishing, as well as finding new ways to reduce shark bite risks. My research aims to help people and shark safely share the ocean. From better understanding the behavior to testing the efficacy of shark deterrence and developing a new bite resistant wetsuit that would reduce injuries and save lives in the rare event of a shark bite. Aiming to ensure that everyone can safely enjoy South Australia and Australia's pristine beaches. After many years of researching the effects of human impacts on marine ecosystems, my attention is now focusing on coastal restoration. Our groundbreaking research analyzes how connecting salt fields to the sea can regenerate salt marshes and mangrove and lead to increased carbon capture. Our results indicate that the blue carbon, that is the natural sequestration by coastal wetlands, offers carbon offset opportunities and additional co-benefits. In my lab, we do basic and applied research in evolution, ecology and conservation management. We use information from the blueprint of life, the DNA, to understand how animal populations evolved and to predict their capacity to adapt to rapid environmental change. Our focus is on fishes, dolphins, whales and mollusks. And we have projects in several countries of the Southern Hemisphere. In Australia, we work closely with fisheries agencies and community groups to create and improve management policies for commercial and threatened species. In fact, the research from my lab recently received the highest possible rating by the Australian government for impact outside academia. I'm Professor Karen Burke de Silva and my research is focused on saving Nemo. We are interested in understanding the symbiotic relationship between clownfish and anemones and the need to conserve these species as well as protect coral reefs both in Australia and around the world. We believe that clownfish should be bred in captivity rather than taken from the wild. We are promoting conservation aquaculture as a sustainable program for the aquarium trade. Uh, we study all aspects of the human past with relationship to the sea, um, submerged landscapes, uh, historic vessels, uh, wrecking events, uh, ancient seafaring all over the world and we work uh, on every uh, humanly occupied continent. We have research projects going in Australia, in Europe, in the Near East uh, and in Africa. My personal research interests and my expertise uh, focuses on the previously terrestrial, now submerged, inundated landscapes of several thousand years ago. I work in Denmark, I work in the Middle East and I work here in Australia looking for traces of the human past on what is now the seabed. I'm here on Naifuru, a local island of the Maldives, to study the impacts of light pollution on coral reef fishes. 
we've built these underwater lights and we've put them out on the reef and we're looking at how exposure to light at night is influencing fish behavior and other interesting questions like reproduction and survival. Underwater video stations which use bait to attract fish are a non-destructive, simple, efficient and relatively inexpensive way of recording fish assemblages. But how accurate are they? My research is finding new ways to improve how we monitor fish populations. This enables us to better understand and mitigate the effects that human activities might have on marine ecosystems. The discoveries we're making here at Flinders are contributing towards valuable marine resources and to supporting responsible economic growth so that we can leave behind a better planet for generations to come.